this is called the hero class I've been doing quite a bit on it lately and um, just been adding some patterns to it mainly so I'm just gonna make sure that we've got sound if anyone could shout there's probably a bit of a delay so uh, just scream something in the chat if you start hearing speech should be coming through okay now okay so basically this is another negative shelling hello everybody and welcome thank you so much for everybody who's joined in the chat and watching live I'm just going to be taking a little look around this there's a few features on this and yeah basically like I say it's the hero class we did a Smedit masterclass on a funny looking one earlier on if I come along here what do we got <laughs> people are saying stuff so anyway just to get straight into it um, this here is a Hilbert curve <laughs> you can look it up on Wikipedia um, it's basically a single line as you see and it's they're known as space filling curves and um, this is a very small one first one I tried to do it's only a couple blocks out it's just a little one and um, this is uh, the latest one that I just finished and the idea is there'll be under lighting under here so this is like a mathematical thingamajig, okay? So watch what happens when I zoom out. You can still see it, right? I'm now about 800 meters away. There's no loss of detail. And the reason for that is because every single part of this is sort of uh, following a crazy pattern. And it's... Um, the lighting, you can notice the sequence. So I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to go too hardcore with it. There is just some random detailing in there, but I may as well show you these grills because they're pretty trick. Might have noticed the grills. I want to see underneath. There we go. The interior isn't even started yet. It's going to mostly be a hanger. It does look like a hedge maze, yeah. And the funny thing is, there's another one. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing this section. I've marked out the wedging here where the uh, ends are. Okay, so I'll know where to cut it down to. But basically, I've expanded it out so I can make this pattern. Obviously we've got turret hard points, and I have covered up the turret hard points back here. You can see them though. Obviously there's plenty of room under here, which is quite nice for role playing. We've got some cool lighting. I like this blue, uh, sorry, green even. Gives a really cool effect. And then this is this is my airlock at the moment. You'd come in under here, even though the airlock wasn't built on this version. I must have done it on a dev build. Like I say, the interior is coming soon. So then, <clears throat> let's get started.
Okay, so you're going to carry it on. So just consulting with the thing, and it doesn't actually do the same thing. It doesn't re it doesn't just do another one of these now. Looking at my guide, looks like it's actually going to do this bit next. But further down, oh boy! So I'm going to I'm going to carry on, delve into this. This is just one which I thought would work well for us because you see the Y is a convenient fractal construct. <laughs> oh, I love Musa Bin. I'm going to have to raise up my turret, aren't I? <laughs> so there it is, guys. A little bit of a piano curve. See, I don't think I, yeah, that can stay. I don't need to uncover that. I'm almost tempted to make more of them to cover these up now. But I think that's enough. Got plenty over the back. Actually looks quite, yeah, yeah. And like I say, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just jump into a core real quick. Oh, the inside's gonna be so much fun. I wonder if I can actually, yeah, I think I did make a door. Oh, hang on, hang on. We all know what happens here, don't we, guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. First thing, save your ship. How far do I get until it starts to shrink there? But uh, wait, no, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's starting to go. So what? 500 meters. The pattern's still there, but it frazzles. Bit of lighting under there. What I need to do is get the green, get the lighting underneath the shell. So I was thinking green, green or blue, or green and blue. I don't know. Probably. Yeah, do you know, every time I see these wingy bits, I do think about the uh, nacelles on a Star Trek ship, but it's not a Star Trek ship, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. I guess, I don't even know what you really have wings for sometimes, other than just to be there. I mean, I might put some little rockety bits, I thought, to put some rocket, you know, engine -y bits at the end of this here. Um, but yeah, big blue engines. Mind you, we got crystals, see? 
I was thinking about making some fancy crystally engines, you know. Um, but there's still a lot of room for more detail on here. I mean, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking green underlighting. Green, green or blue. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, there's a lot of extra stuff that needs doing on here. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you because, you know, it's always a bit of fun when you do stuff like that. I may as well mention that the lighting, the lighting spacing is using Fibonacci sequence. So if you come from here, down the middle, it's using that sequence. If you uh, look at the side lighting here, it runs along the trim, the green and blue. That also follows the sequence. I haven't done much underneath, but I did a, a similar deal in red. Probably needs a little bit more. Needs a lot of work doing to the underside, but it's going to be mostly for uh, docks and things under there, I think, which I probably won't use. Oh yeah. Now the Bobby AI. Uh, that's going to be a person gravity launcher thing here, so people can like fall to planets at the front. That's planned. But yeah, I may as well show off a couple of other things here. Instead of making the edges meet, I deliberately left a gap. And then I didn't use textures, I used uh, corners everywhere where, where I would have done. So if I follow that down here, you'll see that. Just has a nice edge to it. And also, I never really use grey. Oh, wait a minute, what are these? I'm going to have to sort that out. Yeah, it's the same sort of deal here as well. Did a lot of work on these engines as well. Just tidying the map. Got a nice hexagonal affair going on. Don't know exactly how I'm going to finish them off. Um, but yeah. Entrance is through the bottom. Huh? And of course this is temporary. <laughs> so I can actually move the thing. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more work on this, but uh, cheers for tuning in and checking out the live stream. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything done. So we've got our uh, fancy, fancy curves in. Well, you could call them curves. And um, yeah, like I say, thanks for checking it out, and I'll see you all next time.